We're joined by Bakersfield head coach Rod Barnes. Coach, can you just start off with some general thoughts on what you're expecting of your team this season? Well, um, uh, I think we've got a good foundation. Uh, three of our guys that are returning that I'm expecting big season from. Uh, Ty Corbin, who's will uh, play point guard. Uh, Javante Mena, who's uh, one of our other guards. And uh, Ali Ahmed, who's uh, our inside guy. So I feel like we've got a really good foundation there uh, with our team. Uh, we went out and intentionally recruited uh, size at our other spots. Uh, we feel like we're really tough, uh, athletic, uh, strong uh, at every position uh, because we felt like last year uh, the physicality of this league really caught us off guard and cost us some uh, games uh, late in the season. Uh, I like this team. I like the way that it, they've worked, even though we've just been in school for a little bit over a month. Uh, but I like the makeup of our team and like the experience we have. And uh, just looking forward to, uh, you know, getting started. Coach, what is your perception of the league as a whole and how you guys uh, match up nationally with other conferences? I really like where we are. I mean, I think every uh, team is, is getting better. Uh, I think uh, we've got some teams that can play with almost most leagues uh, across this country. Uh, I think from top to bottom, uh, we're much stronger than what we were last year. Uh, I think that's going to show in the non-conference records and and uh, the wins that I think our league will get. And I think we'll get in a conference play and you'll see parity there. But I also think we've got three or four teams that I think can really do some great things uh, in the non-conference and uh, just build our conference up. I think we made a huge step. I think almost every team is probably some way or another has improved. Uh, maybe one or two lost some key players, but uh, overall the depth of our league I think is going to be impressive this year. Having coached in the SEC, what's the biggest difference from you know basketball in that league to basketball in this league? Well, this league is getting closer to, to, to the kind of competitiveness it was, you know, in the SEC. The SEC is uh, obviously a lot of tradition there and a lot of – teams that have been in that league and some of the best teams in the country and you know uh, they put a lot of resources in it and I think we're a league that is growing but I think on the level when you talk about the mid-major level I think we're starting to make this conference as competitive as you would say compared to what the SEC is I mean I think we've got a team that's in our league in New Mexico State who's probably uh, head and shoulders above the rest of us when you're talking about year in, year out. But I think anywhere from two through four or five in a given year, those teams could probably win the league. So uh, and that's a lot that you're going to find in the SEC. But the, the strength uh, is in numbers in that league, and I think we're gaining that in this league. Coach, you talked about uh, your two returning starters. You talked about Javante Maynor as well as uh, Ali Ahmed. Um, so obviously they're going to have bigger roles this year. 64% uh, of your team's scoring was done by players who are no longer on the team. Yep. So um, is there anyone else besides those two returning starters that you expect to kind of make up for that scoring load? Well, I, I mean, I think we're going to be a, a better team collectively. You know, if you look at our scoring, um, I mean, Isaiah Grayson averaged, I think, 17 to 18 points a game. And I, I'm not sure if we'll have someone – that uh, average 17, 18 points a game. But I think we have four or five guys that are in double figures. I mean, when I think about, you know, guys we have, we have a, a transfer named Cortez Connors, who I think is going to probably prove that he's got a chance to be one of the better guards in our league. Uh, we've got a kid named Kevin Mays that averaged a double-double in junior college. Uh, we're returning a guy that we redshirted last year by the name of Jalen Arrington, who averaged double figures as a, a freshman in junior college who transferred from Ventura, but we redshirted last year because we had several guys that were seniors last year that we've lost. Uh, you know, I just think collectively uh, we'll be a better team as far as scoring. But I think more than anything, I think we, you know, we're going to make our money. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to be known for defense. I think we got the depth and the physicality and what it takes to to, to win games. 
uh, in this league now. And so I'm not as concerned about our scoring as I am just uh, trying to build chemistry quicker than later, I mean, earlier than, than later. I'm sure it was frustrating for the, the players who redshirted last year having mm -hmm. to, well, not being able to play. How beneficial do you think it was for them to be able to observe more than, you know, get that playing experience necessarily? And um, how hungry do you think those players are to get out on the court this year? Well, I mean, it was a, it was a huge because, I mean, I mean, we felt like last year we could play with anyone. I mean, it didn't matter who it was. And, and we did that. We showed that we could compete. I mean, we had a ton of games that went down to the last uh, two or three minutes with the opportunity to win. And some of them, we, you know, we just didn't make the plays that we needed to make, hustle plays, whether it's a rebound or getting in transition or whatever it is. And I think those guys saw the difference in what it means in competing and winning. It's two different things. And one of the things we felt like as a staff when we came here, we needed to learn how to compete. And we did that before we got in this league. And then last year we were in the league. And, you know, again, we probably lost more close games than anyone in our league. So we learned how to compete. And I think that's where you start to learn how to win. So immediately when we lost to New Mexico here, New Mexico State here in Vegas, uh, those guys that were on our team uh, went back with a different uh, attitude, with a different approach to work. Um, you know, USC Ali this year, He's trimmed down. He's in the best, you know, shape that he's been in in life. I think uh, people will see Ty Corbin once he gets here. So there's been a commitment since we lost here because we felt like we lost to a team that could go into the NCAA tournament and win several games. And we had a chance here, you know, with three minutes to go to give us an opportunity to possibly pull off an upset. So we felt like if we work harder, if we take care of deep details and – you know, our motto has been we want to get a little bit better each day. And I think we've made that kind of commitment. So uh, this team is a different kind of team than last year. Last year team, I think, when, when I made it here last year, we were going on what had happened in the past. We were going on, you know, we, we had some success. We had a lot of guys setting out and returning. We had a lot of names. That's where we were. We had a bunch of guys that had names and predictions and all that kind of stuff. This team has been a team about work, and uh, I think that's going to pay off for us because our focus has been probably last year we we got something that we didn't deserve. We picked one of the top teams in this league not ever being in the league. Uh, we probably picked what we deserved this year. But I think this team is a team that will work, that will show that uh, they can be better than what they've been predicted for this season. Coach, this is the second season that you guys have had some, been able to do some summer work uh, individually and then had a longer run up to the start of the year as far as practice goes. Has that made a big difference for you and the guys? Uh, yes, yeah, it's made a big difference for the guys that we had in summer school because, uh, you know, that time together uh, is, is important. Um, and, and, again, we left here with a uh, kind of bittersweet uh, taste in our mouth. It was bitter because – we had fought a great team to the end and fell short. But it was sweet because we felt like we were closer. So we knew, you know, uh, being in that game and having an opportunity where we were in a big game like that, that, you know, if we go back and we work, uh, we're closer than where we were at the beginning of the year. So uh, those guys really have been about work, as I mentioned earlier. They've really been focused. Uh, it's a different look in their eye. They train different than what we've been before because I think we experienced last year so many times that it's just to play here and play there. And I think last year I took that to heart because I've been coaching for so long. But until your team takes it to heart, uh, it's a different story. And this team, you know, I'm not going to make any predictions of how well we'll finish or whatever, but – uh, this is the type of team that will make plays when it's time to be made because they put in the work and they deserve those plays to go their way. Now, you mentioned having coached for many years, and now with this change to the practice schedule, does that alter how you approach the preseason or how you approach anything? Uh, yes, yes, there's no question about that. First of all, to have the summer is a great thing for skill development. Uh, it's more of an individual thing for us and still of a team thing because our season is so long. So you've got to make sure that you – uh, obviously getting some work in and helping our kids uh, uh, improve 
But also, you got to think about how long this season is going to be. I mean, when you start doing individual work in July, you know, and all of a sudden you finish the season next April, that's a long time to be beating on the body and physically and mentally. So, uh, but it's helped us kind of keep our guys healthy, spread out some time, work with guys more on an individual basis. So I think it helps those guys as far as development, which is good. But it also gives coaches time to spend time with the players, which helps, I think, both on the court and off the court. Another recent change across the NCAA was coming into last year with the block charge and with some of the defensive hand checking and things like that. What's your uh, perspective on how that change went overall <laughs> going back on the year? You see how many free throws we shot last year and our opponents shot? Then you probably know how I would feel about that. Uh, we had to make some changes uh, from the way that I play. And I think that's about as clean and as good as I can give it to you today. <laughs> I guess that's, I'll probably leave, leave it at that, okay? 